bind the volume of the parallelopeptide, or box, with one vertex at the origin and adjacent vertices at the given ordered triplets. So we want to note that these ordered triplets are adjacent to the origin. So this lets us know that these three vertices are going to make up the columns of matrix A. So we can say that our matrix A is defined by the vectors who have vertices at these points. So our first column vector will be 2, 0, negative 5. Our second column vector is 1, 3, 4. And our third column vector is 7, 1, 0. And so to find the volume of the box, we need the determinant of our matrix A. So we can use our definition. We can say that the determinant of matrix A is going to be equal to 2 multiplied by the determinant of the submatrix 3, 1, 4, 0. And this is minus 1 multiplied by the determinant of the submatrix 0, 1, negative 5, 0, plus 7 multiplied by the submatrix 0, 3, negative 5, 4. And so computing these 2 by 2 determinants, we have 2 multiplied by 0, minus 4, minus 0, minus a, minus 5, so plus 5 plus 7 multiplied by 0 minus a minus 15, so plus 15. So we have 2 times negative 4 minus 5 plus 7 times 15, or negative 8 minus 5 plus 105 for a beautiful final answer of 92. This is 92. So not square units, but cubic units, because it is the volume of this box. And we should be careful here. Here we had a positive result, so it didn't matter. But we should keep in mind that we have the absolute value of this. So until you know that the determinant is positive, it's good practice to keep absolute value bars on the outside.